Hi, I'm Chris McKenzie, and this is my mare, um, Crystal. She's a South African thoroughbred and was sent here six years ago. She is an 11 year old, and uh, yeah, she has kissing spine. Um, she was sent over from South Africa, and in South Africa, was performing unbelievably well. Um, a lot of stop and turn, heaps of speed, and when I sent her over, I thought she would be my best horse. Um, within a year and a half of being here, she'd have lost a lot of confidence in herself. Her mouth started to go. She started to uh, become very chicken in the ride off. And oh, very soon after that, she was diagnosed with kissing spine uh, by a vet. With the kissing spine, the first thing that went was her stop because she couldn't round her back and get her back legs underneath her. Um, the second thing, funnily enough, was that she became quite scared of the ride-offs and I think because of any uh, contact or any shock through the body it went straight into her spine. Um, both of these things she had ample in South Africa. She was fast, had great a great mouth and she was tough in the ride-off. Um, she continued like this for her whole career and she kind of leveled out at a level where she was just good enough to play with a lot of speed but you had to work around her being very chicken and you had to plan for each play you went into. You couldn't go and make every stop in the chucker. We then, uh, I was playing her in a in an Argentine made saddle. So this is the saddle Crystal used to go in. It's a typical Argentine made saddle, very well made, strong, very comfortable, nice to play polo in. But typical of the polo saddles, none of them are made to measure, so none of them fit the horses exactly. Anything that's made sort of a, with a one size fits all is going to cause trouble. Same as a pair of shoes, if everyone wore a size 9, some people would be perfect, some people would be damn uncomfortable. <coughs> so for her, she's quite a naturally high weathered horse. Thoroughbreds generally tend to be higher in the weather, um, whereas the Argentine bred animals generally slightly rounder in the, in the weather. That's why the Argentine saddles are made a little bit rounder and generally fit the Argentine ponies better and the thoroughbreds way worse. Um, so you can see as the saddle sits, you know, that's where it should sit for the polo players to really put them a bit further forward. Um, all right, saddle clearance in the front, uh, gullet clearance in the front, but if you put your hand down it very soon, you can see that it touches at the back or just behind where my, the end of my fingers are, it's touching the weather. So with the rider's weight on there, there's going to be contact on the weather. Um, and if you come to the back, you can see our little spine clearance there is at the back. And with the, with the weight of a rider, it gets very close to the spine. With a bit of bouncing, that sometimes makes contact even. Um, the panels are also not swept up, so the two points of contact on these saddles are right at the back and right at the front. With a gap in the middle, where it doesn't support very much, you can see how it bridges. I slip my hand through there and there's no contact through there. But there is contact in the front on the shoulders and there's contact on the back at the spine. So what happens is the saddle ends up bridging across the horse's back and you end up with basically contact here, contact here, nothing in the middle and that's where all your weight is. And that's what ends up causing these vertebrae in the spine to end up starting to fuse because there's too much pressure without any support on the muscles surrounding it. So this is the Ainsley saddle that we were given to try and we put Crystal in it and we had really great results. She all of a sudden, uh, almost overnight, started to go into contact much better. She got much better in the stop and was much more relaxed under saddle, giving her air and just giving, taking her on sets, started to really relax and work in a better frame. Um, her performance went up, I'd say, between 20 and 40% any given day. Um, she never got back to where she was before, before she has the, had the kissing spine, but she became a much more playable horse. Uh, her performance incre uh, increased drastically. Um, but you can see how much better it fits her. At the back, these panels are upswept, so not pushing into sort of the lower uh, part of the back where you want a lot of flexibility and you want zero contact here at the back. So upswept panels are these things we call these things here, away from the spine. You also see, if you look down, the, I don't even know what you call it, the gap down here, no, you can almost see right the way through to the weather if it didn't bend upwards and that's the type of spine clearance we want with the horses. You end up ensuring there's no contact 
and just what and just wide enough away from the spine so that there's no contact on the spines uh, on the on the vertebra as well if you lift up the flap you can see there's no bridging all the way through and if you run your hand from the front to the back there's just an even contact right the way through that's what you want to see with the saddle fit um, the minute you get bridging is the minute you get pack problems but no bridging here all the weight will be here on on this part of the horse's back and there's support right the way through and if you come to the front and you look at the weather clearance compared to the saddle we just saw you can see there must be another four or five centimeters on the weather clearance that means even with the rider's weight with everything with leaning with pulling and pushing it's never going to come close to the weather you're never going to have a problem with bridging so when I was younger, um, we, were, we never really knew about kissing spine and polo was sort of uh, something we just totally overlooked and, and didn't think about. We actually spoke about it as having a cold back. We used to say, oh, that one's got a bit of a cold back and it would warm out of it, you know. Uh, we're 10 years on and everyone knows now it's not a cold back. It's uh, a sore back and it's, uh, it's diagnosed as kissing spines. Um, it's something that in polo it's going to happen um, because of the way we ride and always putting pressure on the one foot and it's something that uh, with a good saddle you can prevent and with a bad saddle it will happen. Simple as that. If you go through every one of your horses, 80-90% will have some form of pain in their back. The crystal has ended up uh, sort of, she improved a heap and she's been playing well and is going much better. In conclusion, we changed one thing with crystal, not her feeding, not her training, nothing, just the saddle. And with just changing the saddle, she improved by between 20 and 40 percent on every any given day. She started to work in a better frame, started to build muscle through her back, and she you can physically, when you ride her, you can feel that she's not working in pain anymore. She's working much more relaxed. Basically, it comes from a good fitting saddle, supporting her through where she needs to be supported to allow her to build the muscle to protect that part of her that's sore. Um, really happy with the product. Uh, really well made, durable, and yeah, very nice. The reason why we have so many uh, back issues with polo, I mean, first of all, it's the stopping and turning and starting of our sport. Um, that can't be avoided, though. Um, the second reason is because we have a one-size-fits-all mentality. Um, when we buy saddles, we buy four saddles from the same saddle maker, all the same size, and basically they might fit half our horses, but the other half they don't fit. And uh, saddles are made with either steel or wood or carbon fiber that doesn't bend. So you're putting a rigid thing that doesn't, a rigid saddle that doesn't fit the horse onto the saddle and expecting it to keep competing at the same level. Um, every other discipline in the world, from jumping to endurance to any discipline that spends time on the horse's backs, um, they get a saddle, a saddle per horse fitted and checked every month to see if the saddle's still fitting, reflocked, and uh, they put so much importance on this because everything in the horse, all the movement comes through the spine. Every movement it makes, the spine has got to move. And with a bad fitting saddle, you lock, you lock up all the movement.